Uh, hello, in <coughs> this video continuing with uh, scientific form, I got uh, two information. One is the diameter, uh, the diameter of a human hair is 0 0.000254 meters, okay? And the gravitational constant G is this number, 6.673 times 10 to the power negative 11. And this is a unit, okay, we, we don't need to worry about the unit. It's a meter cube per kg per second squared, okay. That's not, what we're going to do is we want to change this into the uh, scientific form. Okay, and uh, this we want to change into the ordinary form. For scientific notation and uh, ordinary form, okay. So first, this is a very small number. So as you know, uh, scientific form is used to express huge numbers and small number in an economical manner. So let me write this number. 0 0.0000254. This is nothing but 254 out of, I'll count the, how many numbers are uh, after this decimal point, or if we count the number of numbers, these are zero are placeholders. So I'll count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, so this is only a placeholder. This is this has a value. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That is nothing but ten to the power seven. Okay. So I'll show you this. Okay. So this is nothing but uh, 254 times 10 to the power negative 7. Okay. So here, now this you want to change into a number between 1 and 10. Okay. So this is nothing but 2.54. I think like this, if I make this, this has become how many times smaller? This has become 100 times smaller. Do you get me? This is 2.54 times 100 will give you 254. So this has become 100 times smaller. So to multiply by 10 to the power 2, 10 to the power 2 is 100 times 10 to the power negative 7. And we can simplify this to, which is 2.54 times 10 to the power negative 5. So let, us, let me show you on a calculator. So we, what I'm saying is 0 0.0000, you've got four zeros, and then you've got 254. If you press equal, this is what it means, 2.54 times, E means times 10 to the power negative 0, 5. Okay, that is nothing but 5. Okay, now the next number is a huge number. Also, this is again a small number. So, this is let me change color, make it blue. Okay, so you got now you're doing the opposite process from the scientific form. We want to write in the standard form. Okay, so that will be let me draw a line here. So that you know the separation. So this is one question and this is the next question. Okay, so here it is 6.673 times, I'm not worried about the unit, don't worry about the unit. So 10 to the power, negative 11. Now, if you want to change this in ordinary form, this is 6673 or 6673 over 1000 times 10 to the power, negative 11 which is 6673 over 10 cube times 10 to the power negative 11 over 1. Now these two can swap over, so this is nothing but 6673 uh, times 10 to the power negative 11. I'm doing more steps so that you understand. Okay, now if you want to uh, make this, suppose this, uh, I, this is moving, so I'll move on from year to year. 
So this is 6673 times 10 to the power negative 14. Okay, because minus 11 take away 3 is minus 14. Now this means 6673 over 10 to the power 14. Okay, so this is 6673 over 10 to the power 14 means I have to write 14 zeros. Okay, so let me write the 14 zeros. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 12, 13, 14. Okay, and this, if you want to write in ordinary form, you can understand, see, why we write in the scientific form, because this is... Uh, weird okay you have to write 14 zeros okay and this if you want to change this into ordinary form you have 0 0.6673 and how many zeros okay okay so yeah not zero point sorry so this is uh, this is you have to have uh, 14 numbers before the decimal place so you've got zero point you've got already four numbers so you have to put ten zeros one two three four five six seven eight nine ten and then you've got these are placeholders okay and then you have to put six six seven three okay so this is in the ordinary form that gravitational constant is this number in the ordinary form so let us check this on the calculator so what I'm saying is 0 point, you have to put 10 zeros, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, <laughs> 0 point, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, and 6, 6, 7, 3. So let's see what the calculator tells us. It's 6.673 times 10 to the power negative 11. I hope it's clear. Okay, let's move on to the next question. Use a calculator to evaluate this. You can use a calculator, but the question is, you have to leave your answer in the standard form, in, uh, correct up to four decimal places. So the first question is square root of 8779. So, so you go shift square root of 8779. So f let me write the number that's uh, in four decimal places. So I have to go, I'll write up to four decimal places. I mean not, so 93.66, so let me write 93.69631, okay? So this is 93.66. One. So let me check it. Is that right? Yeah, 93.69631. Okay, now this is not in the standard form. Okay, the st in the standard form, you have to have the first number as a number between 1 and 10. So this is nothing but 9.369, or uh, if you want to round it into four decimal places, so you need 1, 2, three four okay so one uh, so nine six okay so this now you have to think in a logical way now this has become so you can ignore these two because this is uh, we want only up to four decimal places now this number has become how many times smaller okay it has become ten times smaller ninety three I have written as 9.3696. So if it has become if it has become 10 times smaller, I have to multiply, you have to make it bigger. So 10 to the power of 1. Okay, so this is and this and this are the same. So let us check this on the calculator. So 9.3696 times 10. Okay, is 93.696. That's what we got. Okay. Okay, the last question now. Okay, that is this number. You want to use a calculator and then simplify it uh, right in the standard form. So let me write the number again. Let me use green now. So this is 4 times 
10 to the power 8 plus 7 times 10 to the power 9 over 6. So we'll put this in the bracket, okay, so the calculator will understand. So we'll use a calculator, so I'll put bracket 4 times 10 to the power 8, calculator will understand even without the bracket, plus 7 times, the bracket is, you have to use, I use bracket so that you do the multiplication first and then add, plus 7 times 10 to the power 9 is this huge number, okay, divide by 6 is 1, okay, 1, 2, 3, 3, it's recurring, okay, so it's a really neat number, 1, 2, so let me write the number, 1, 2, 1, 2, and the th 3 is recurring, so let me go 1, two, dot, 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 okay, now I want to write this in the, uh, yeah, I have to write how many, how many numbers are there, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, okay, so I can't put dot, 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 I have to write the number, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, point zero. Okay, this is point zero. Now this number, if you want to write in the standard form, this decimal, I want to write this as 1.2333. So now this decimal point has moved from here how many places? Okay, so you got, let me draw the arrow in a different color. So it has moved from here, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9 places. It has become 9 places, or 10 to the power, 9 smaller. So you have to multiply this by 10 to the power, 9. So let me sh show you, this is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, okay? And this, if you press this on the calculator, so this is 1.23, because I rounded this to four decimal places, because that's the question, 1.3233 times uh, you don't need to do that. 1.2333 e to the power 9 is, this, these are only placeholders, okay? So you got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, okay? So you got these numbers are taken by the zeros. Hopefully this video has been helpful. See you in the next one.